What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? I'm the Godless Engineer, and I critically analyze apologist claims to give you the best arguments and information so that you can stand up and use your voice. Today's video is from the line. We are going to be hearing from a caller that decided to call in and try to prove either God to us or some other kind of crazy idea. So if you want to fuck around and find out how crazy this call gets, then please stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, we do have another caller on the line, Mark, who's an agnostic, and um, he has a weird question about how Jesus treated the lepers. What's up, Mark? Hi, Mark. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Hey, good, Mike. Hello. Good. I just called the question about the, you know, how you were so critical of people who are religious. Me, myself, I'm not particularly religious but i believe in the message of jesus such as how he treated the okay. people who were outsiders such as the lepers how do you feel about that um just well, one uh, second mark what do you mean by we're critical of religious people I, i'm not sure people people who are outrageously religious i live in missouri like southern missouri yeah. there's all kinds of crazy signs and stuff like that you know well, they're, I would hope that I'm just people. critical of bad yeah, ideas. Them. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, I mean, there's all course, different I'm types critical of religious of their bad people ideas out well. there. Right. But, you know, um, people, well, they also mean well. Oh, uh, some do, yes. I think some are very um, um, sort of, mis of course, misguided. Bad people on both sides. Both, there's bad liberals who just are mean as well. I mean, sure. that's my problem is that you don't acknowledge... Uh, Hold on a second. Like, there's there's time. a difference between the the radical right and like quote unquote radical left here. So I mean, of like the, the the left is not mean in the same sense that the right is mean. Like the right makes fun of of disabled people. The left makes fun of JD fans because he may or may not fuck a couch. Yes, but the, but but of of course, you know, the right also brings in those people. At the same time, you're 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 dismissing the people who mean well in all sorts. Mean you well. What, I mean? what does that mean? What What do you like, mean that they mean they're well? Always gonna, they're, they're always going to support the person that they were friends with, no matter of their uh, opposing view. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I hate the generalized nature of this particular segment of the conversation. Um, that's, that's my problem. Uh, well, is the generalization of uh, of the posts that I get off the website. It's like well, okay, that's all right, Mark. But maybe do. we should just it's, move it's, on it's, to it's, the. I always, I always, I always consider it's it's not us versus them. We're in this together, everybody. Are we? Sure. Well, yes, yeah. We I are. mean, we're one one planet. Yeah. We are one human. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I can agree with that. I was just, I was just like, I, I, I feel like there's this, definitely this, this different is why, this is like troll, ideas this is of what it means. Hold on, because... Mark. Mark, please don't make me mute you. Okay, okay. Please don't make go me ahead, mute go you. ahead. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. I just feel like there's definitely different goals for either side is all that I was getting of at. Course. Like there the goals to. of of liberals, leftists, non-religious people are going to be different than like the goals of religious people and the conservative religious right. Of course. Like I mean, I live in Missouri. There's some fucking crazy religious nuts. And I'm not religious. I haven't been to church since I was a before I was a teenager, I'm not religious. Okay, maybe my it's name. my fault. I, I think in... I got I got hung up on something. So I think that's my fault, Mark. So I, I apologize, mate. Um, the 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 whole idea that, that we sort of very critical of religious people. I think I sort of got hung up on that. Um, so I, I do apologize, mate. This is probably my fault. But um, I want to want to get to the whole idea that you're you're sort of you 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 you're a follower, or or you said you you like. Jesus, I just basically, believe or you, in the good message that Jesus provides, especially the one with the leopard lepers. That one stands out to me, right? Is that not a good message well, for everybody? Well, I've got a question for you, uh, Mark. It might make you think a little bit. So, Jesus cured okay. a leper. He didn't cure a leper. He accepted them and he approached them when they were outcasts of society. Right. Um, well. <laughs> Uh, what what I want to know is why he didn't cure the leprosy of everybody because we've essentially yeah, like, eliminated it, it, leprosy. I'm not like I said. I'm not religious. I don't think of, in a mythical oh, God and all that. 
I believe that that message has been passed down year after year after year, and it's a good thing to embrace. Well, I, I think okay, that okay. some of the messages... Sorry, go ahead, John. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I mean, I feel like the sentiment that's being um, given in this particular story about Jesus is a sentiment that exists beyond... Uh, Christianity, and so like this sentiment of, of empathy, of you're right. This, this I mean, sentiment of uh, of all of that. Common people. Ho hold right? on, hold on, Mark, 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 I mean, I, so I would consider myself a mythicist. So I don't think that any of this actually happened. Like even, even if you consider Jesus to be a historical person, I don't think that this story actually happened. Uh, I get the good intent behind it, I don't, I but at the same time, listen, I don't necessarily Mark, also Mark, believe that it actually happened. You let happened. John it's, finish, it's, please. It's Mark, 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 Mark. Okay. Mark. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, John. Let, just, just Go let ahead. John finish where you don't believe you'll get a chance. Okay. Right. I, I, I don't believe that this actually happened. Um, now, the message, I guess, I can get behind of, of accepting people that are outside, like, your your normal uh, in-group, you like, and not othering people. But, it, you know, if you really take um, religion, um, you, you know, and its history into consideration, religion um, – has a, a a vast history of othering people, and even in Christianity, dude, you have dude, a, an othering of Boro, people. The Westboro Baptist Church hangs out in my town. Do not tell me. I know this. Good, good okay. for you. Well, to my mind, Marco. So what I'm thinking right now, like when when you're sort of saying, like, don't get me wrong. There's there's things in the Bible like the Golden Rule and stuff, which is you know. Other religions have had it. it it's been well course, established. It's like I understand rule, right? all of that. Yeah, Mark, 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 Mark. Middle of talking, mate. Middle of talking. Like seriously. Okay, um, but okay. like when you okay, say um, Jesus sort of hung out with the lepers, I get the sentimentality behind it. But that can be interpreted in a, a number of ways. Sort of, hey, you shouldn't um, isolate the sick. Now, can you imagine situations like maybe a uh, Ebola breakout where that's a bad message to to sort of say, hey, hang out with the sick people and comfort them. Like, that is not a good idea under some that's circumstances. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's, I'm, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. I mean, that, that's, you're talking yeah, and, about and the, I, I, it's the mentality. Look, I understand that. I totally understand that. But that means that you have an interpretation that says that, right? So well, what, like, the problem comes that different people have different interpretations of what that actually means and how they should implement it, and not all of them lend it particularly well. I know, man. Hey, okay. I, I've been to Pentecost. You ever been to a Pentecostal church? You ever been to a Holy Rollers church? No. Bro? No. Yes. You never have? Well, I would, I would recommend I going haven't. because it's a fucking experience. Well, uh, okay, okay. You know, so, Mark, Mark, and I don't if agree I can, with anything they, I don't agree with. I don't agree with what they preach. But you know, I agree that okay. those are some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And I, I just don't appreciate <laughs> people bashing and gen and generalizing people. I mean, they can judge me all I want. I don't give a fuck. You can call me what you want. I don't really care. Okay, okay, yeah. Mark. Let, let's just run with this right now. Idaho. There are certain counties in Idaho right now that have Dude, uh, infant Mormon, mortality rates. And, and, and the shut the fuck I'm up, not, Mark. Mark, not. if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna mute you. Okay, go ahead. Right, go ahead. Right now in Idaho, there are certain communities that have infant mortality rates that are skyrocketing way past the normal infant mortality rates of the rest of the United States. And you know why they are doing that? Because of religion. So when we push back because against not, religion here, we're not, hey, shut the fuck up. When we are pushing against uh, 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 religion here uh, on this channel or other channels around here, we are not pushing against like the lighthearted, generalized Christians that are like happy go lucky and are, are progressive and all that kind of stuff. We're pushing against this whole idea that God is the thing that should dictate our behavior and reality. God, if we just pray to God, that'll cure somebody's diabetes. As someone with diabetes, that's fucking insulting, Mark. So when we uh, I, are, right, are, are right, pushing right. against these and people I'm that are doing these things, those are the people we're pushing. We're not pushing against like 
faith in general. We're not pushing against any of these things that you think that we're pushing against. We're pushing against the radicalization of religious people in the public spaces to, to push, hold hold up, Mark. I'm still fucking talking. Um, we're pushing against these radicalized people that are pushing these very anti-scientific, anti-reality positions that are uh, effectively hurting people in reality, like the people in Idaho, like the people across the United States, as well as other places where they are being taken advantage of. So don't come on here with a with a fucking high horse attitude like you're sitting on some kind of like a uh, uh, holy moral ground here that like oh all of a sudden well, that's what you, um, were doing. you know we shouldn't push back hold on shut up i'm still fucking talking here i'm ex- uh, I, i've got an exposition well, I, um, i'm waiting uh, the, 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 hold on hold on the fact that we are pushing back against these people is not a, a condemnation of maybe belief in general, but it is very much a condemnation of holding beliefs that are against things that comport with reality. And we, at least I, I'll speak for myself here, I maintain that anything that doesn't comport with reality is ultimately harmful to the human race and can uh, definitely cause harm to people. So that's what I push against. Somebody that's not harming another other person or any kind of progressive Christian out there that's definitely moving along with society, I don't really give a fuck. I really don't. What I care about are is the harm that religion causes to people. That's what I care about. And that's what a good number of hosts here on the line actually fucking care about. So don't act like we're pushing against religion and that we should allow religion just because just there are some the good approach. things in one. I just think you have the wrong Do I have approach. the wrong approach there, Mark? Yeah. Well, what's it's, what's it's the fucking wrong approach? It's and wrong to divisive. to 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 push back. It's Is it wrong to push back divisive. against a religion that causes an infant mortality rate that supersedes the infant Dude, mortality rate of the know, entire look nation? The, look, at, look at it's still going on. I mean, you're never going to convince these people that they that God doesn't fucking exist. You know what I mean? People are going to. I don't care if they're convinced whether or not God exists or not. What I want them to stop doing is to stop hurting people. That's what I want to stop. And that's every uh, since twenty. Hold on, since twenty fucking twelve, I've 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 made the effort to to make sure that I am preventing people from doing harm to other people because of religious reasons. That's what I've been doing. I'm not saying you are bad. I'm not saying you're trying to hurt people at all. I'm just saying you. you need to it sounds like you're approach. you're telling me that it's I should give a free pass to religion just because there's a few good things in religion that allow people there's to not do a few good, good things. things in religion. I like I said, I'm not well, I'm not hold, religious hold at all. Second. Well, Mark, just just one second because um, it's interesting that 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 uh, John brought up sort of that you know a diabetic doesn't get insulin because there's a famous case in Australia that that a, a child didn't get insulin from their parents right because of their religious beliefs they withheld it and the girl died I mean died that happened and, in my hometown was... right right so so it doesn't matter how nice those people are right it doesn't matter if they're the the best most awesome people in the world once I understand they start that they are ter- they have a right, terrible right. uh so Mark, so Mark, Mark, I, Mark, 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 so Mark, Mark. Hold it, Mark, Mark, Mark. I haven't aisle. even gotten to where I'm going yet. Mark, Mark, I haven't even gotten to where I'm going yet. So really it is okay. some of these beliefs. So what John is talking about is if a, a, a Christian believes that human well-being is important, right? That 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 God says, hey, humans are important. You've got to take care of them. I can agree with that. I can get on board with that. D- does it really matter why they think human humans well-being is important? important. We Not are really. We are destroying. I didn't say the humans earth. were important. I, I, okay, well, that, I'm going <laughs> to put that said. aside for one second because, like, that's a whole other can of worms. So, humans as long as we still any, have than anything than an ant well, or a Mark, Mark, bee. Mark, 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 Mark. What, just a sec. Just a sec. So, as long as our goals are aligned, so with, I, I've, with how I've we, muted Mark just so that you can, just, just so that you can. Uh, thank you. Uh, continue. I continue. Really appreciate it. Um, so, so as long as our goals align, it, it doesn't really matter to me where they get those goals from. The problem is that people will get different goals depending on what they think a God wants and not what is good for people. So as long as they're working, you know, to to make a better world, whatever you think that is, and we have to open, well, I don't know if you want to open up that that can of worms of humans are not important at all. Um, um, 
as long as they're working towards the betterment of society and the betterment of this world, I don't have a problem why they think that is. But if they're working towards some abstract, well, God wants this thing to happen, you know, like um, God will cure people, so deny them insulin, well, we've got a problem there. And the problem is that if you use certain belief structures to dictate what you're going to do, they may not lead to the what I would consider the best outcomes. So I do really push back on people that say, well, God wants me to do this rather than what is the best thing for uh, us, a society and us in general and yourself kind of thing, because um, what God wants, nobody seems to know and they all seem to disagree. And, you know, we've got no way to actually determine what it is that God wants, but we can determine what's good for society and us. I hundred. Okay, Mark, you're unmuted now. Okay. I, you know, I can't argue with anything you said. Uh, what was your name, Mark? Okay. Well, yes. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. I don't under. I don't disagree with anything you say. I just mm-hmm. disagree with the backlash, the way you approach it, as and you should try to understand people that don't. You know, be kindly. Don't send shitty messages to them and try to gaslight them. Basically, that's my whole point. That's why I'm calling to begin with. Where exactly like said, have we I'm, done? any of those things assuming that we've done any no, of no, those no, things no, seems to be a claim that we've done anything i'm talking about i'm talking about the the post online that's where it, it all comes to it's all it's like i'm just trying to you know get the other well, side i'm trying to own the other side you know try to reach out to them oh, instead of if you're saying if you're saying atheists can be rude and do you know crappy things then i i, I yeah but I, i'm not sure why Oh, okay. Um, it, you know, if you, you agree you just, with me, with that. that's all. That's all I wanted because atheists. You know, I'm not sure. I'm agnostic necessarily, but I still believe in the messages that other, not even Christianity, but other relig- religions, you know, pass down. They're good messages. You know what I mean? Like the let, Muslims. Let, let, I let, can me, let me ask you this, Mark. About how they... Mark, Mark, Mark. Let, let me ask you this: Could you look into the eyes of a mother? The, whose child is dying of of some kind of very basic illness and be like, well, I get that everybody was praying for your child to get better, and that obviously like that. didn't happen. But could, but but you know, you know, Christianity's got some good shit in it. Like Christianity's got some good sentiments in it. Like, Thank you. don't it's blame Christians for this. I mean, I don't have to take it for. I don't have to take it for reality. I have to take it as a good message, like a good song teller. You ever listen to okay. Neil Young? Uh, do you? Hold on, I, I don't give a fuck about Neil Young. Um, do you think that <laughs> religion comports with reality? No, I do not. Okay. I believe- if religion doesn't comport with reality, then uh, it isn't, isn't there a better method to, like, uh, I guess, um, derive philosophical um arguments or or philosophical uh uh life lessons from in order to make sure that you don't dilute that message with something that can that doesn't comport with reality i can only present it as how i see it well i'm just just wondering if there's anything in the bible that you can sort of that promotes a good message that you couldn't get from other sources like cultural sources or philosophical sources of course not. It's been passed down through many different religions and cultures. Right. So why, you know, it's why do we need the messages the in the Bible then if we can get it from other places? We don't. We don't. And it, okay, cool. You know, I just... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So like I'm saying, we just don't need... People are going to believe what they're going to believe. You know what I mean? You're not going to change their minds. You have to embrace them. Oh, no, no, I totally disagree with that. There's plenty of people that have contacted me personally that have said that I have changed their mind on either God or Jesus or anything like that. So, like, maintaining not, a constant message uh, that, that, presents, that presents an alternative to the religious ideas that they have is definitely beneficial because it releases them from that kind of dogmatic thinking. Yes. Well, I'm just saying. The I people think, that I, I think there's some that people that you won't my, change their my mind. life and have been super religious have always, you know, been accepting to whatever my ideas are. So, I mean, you're, 
I, I believe well, you stereotype here that there are people. some people that won't change their mind, right? Like I do yeah. agree about that. There are people that won't, but I, I guess my point in all of this, and maybe we can wrap up here in just a second, but my okay, point in all ahead. this is that, that that should not dictate whether or not atheists or agnostics or anybody like that continues to push back against religion and religion's no, effect on society. I have no, I have no problem. I think that I have no we should maintain our, our current conversation uh, and, and pushing back against things that don't comport with reality. I think we should keep pushing back against that because I feel like anything that doesn't comport with reality is ultimately going to re, uh, result in some kind of harm that occurs. That's why I would personally classify myself as an anti-theist because I think that religious thought, however well-intentioned it may be, can ultimately uh, uh, involve harm being caused either to the person that holds the belief or to somebody else uh, that that person has a direct contact with. So that's why I would say that it doesn't matter whether or not you know there are people that exist that won't be convinced away from their position. I think that it's important that we continue to push back against religion. And I have no problem with your ideas and you pushing back. And you know, you this is a free country. You should have the free speech to say what you want. I'm just this is why I called to disagree of how you approach the situation. And, and so hold on, can you can you exactly express like how we approach the situation? Like I don't see a problem well, because it seems you like you're agreeing with me just, and agreeing with Mark on how we should approach the I situation, agree. but you're I, saying that I, you disagree I agree with I agree with your beliefs. I just don't agree with how you backlash against people who you never are going to make disagree or agree with you. Who disagree with I you? I still don't understand what you're talking about, talking about this. The backlash like, against I, I, I'm people not sure. who disagree with you. Well, how do I backlash against them particularly? How do I do it? Like, well, can, can you outline how I backlash? It? That's the whole point. Well, I mean, it? I mean, there's one thing. <clears throat> there's one thing in not believing in God, and one thing against. A well, well, I'm a skeptic. What's up, heathens? Well, well, I'm I'm a skeptic, Mark. So I think that um, well, in order you, to believe you something, don't believe in God. Hang on, Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, um, so either, you know, I, I really think that we should have evidence in order to believe something. Now, whether or not someone chooses to believe that. that is entirely... I, know, I, I understand the concept of atheism completely. No, that's skepticism. That's skepticism. Atheism's different. Atheism is a lack of belief in God or God. Skepticism is saying that the best way to get um, a, a understanding of the world around you is to have evidence for things before you believe them. Yes, and I completely understand that point of view. Yeah, yes. But, and I, I and I am on the same terms with that point of view, but I'm just saying, I'm talking about the backlash against Christians in particular, not just all religions, necessarily Christians. Well, and, they're the ones trying to make legislation to change how things that implemented well, in my true. country and John's country, um, you know, in order to my country, placate or, or, a in God. My state, Hang on, Mark. Let me tell, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, in order to, to placate a God that I don't think exists and they can't seem to demonstrate exists. That's the problem. And, and you know, most Christians are fine, but they also sort of provide a cover for these more, um, you know, should I say nefarious breed of Christian who, who are trying to implement their personal beliefs over other people who do not believe the same thing. Um, if nobody was coming up and telling me that God existed, I wouldn't have to talk about it, but, but they are. You're right. You're right. You're right. But in my state where I live in Missouri, this election on November 6th, the petitions are abortion, whether to allow it or not, uh, which is in Missouri, if you understand where I'm at, uh, minimum wage to $15 an hour and uh, allowing gambling, sports gambling. What do you think this state is going to do? Who is completely voting for Donald Trump? You know, honestly, that doesn't mean anything to me because That's like right. Donald no, Trump has flip-flopped on several of these different uh, topics here, well, like I'm with saying, abortion. I'm, saying, I'm, I, I, I'm not for Donald Trump, but I'm just saying my state is going to vote for him in their electoral college. So, but okay. we also have abortion. 
<laughs> abortion. I'm getting whiplash here. I don't know how this actually applies to the 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 problem of atheists pushing back against religious people. Well, these are the people I live with. That's what I'm saying. I, and this is the are you trying to say that these we people should are going to have to be, vote on? Are you saying we what should be nicer this? to sort of get them away from the more um, sort of fundamentalist Christian kind of thing? We should be be nicer to them to to uh, sort of um, try to get them into a more um, acceptable yes, society. Yes, without demoralizing them. Because, yes, well, like without demoralizing them. Okay. Because that's the only way you got to reach across the aisle. That's all I'm saying, guys. Is you got to you got to be more lenient towards the other side. Obviously, they're not going to fucking care about what you guys got to oh, say. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Mark, Mark, I just have to stop you real quick. You're wanting me to, to reach the across ground, the yes. aisle. Hold on, hold on. To, to reach across ground. the aisle that's, with that's, people. Hold on. Shut the fuck up for one minute. Okay. Give me okay. a minute. All right. You're okay. wanting me to reach across the aisle to people that want to deny the right to bodily autonomy to women? You want me to reach across to the aisle and compromise any, any with people yes. that don't – shut the fuck – I'm muting you. You want me to reach across the aisle to people that don't consider women to be full-fledged fucking people? You want me to reach across the aisle and compromise with people that want to deny the basic rights of women – in the United States. Like, that's what you want me to do. You want me to reach across the aisle and compromise with people that basically want to destroy the American economy because that's exactly what they want to do. All of the policies laid out in either Agenda 47 or Project 2025 want to destroy the economy of the United States, all for the benefit of the ultra-rich 1% in the nation. That's what they want to do, okay? Uh, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to accomplish. I'm not going to reach across the aisle and I'm not going to compromise with people that are sitting there wanting to rip basic rights away from women that are wanting to uh, uh, subjugate the lower and middle class to fully and completely supporting the American economy, thereby destroying the American economy by not holding the ultra rich accountable. I will not do that. Because that's what they want. I'm not going to compromise on that. And I feel like a reasonable people don't want to destroy the American economy. We've been on this call for about 30 minutes. I'm going to give you a chance to say your final piece, and then we're going to move on. Okay. I appreciate your guys' uh, I appreciate your guys' uh, feedback, and I hope I at least gave my point of view. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, uh, I think so that, Mark. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, Go ahead. this is something that comes up a lot for me. At sort of, so what, what's the most effective way to push back against sort of religious people? Um, you know, is it, is it being, um, having an outreached hand or is it, is it sort of compromising on certain things and not on others? And it, it's, it's hard to say. I, I think that different people will de need different things to convince them. But one thing that we're not doing is attacking them. We're only attacking their beliefs. So I think that any idea should be up for criticism and critique no matter what that idea is. And I think that it's perfectly justified to uh, run a channel because religion is very, very ubiquitous across our society. Um, you know, if I had a, a sort of channel criticizing something, I, I, you know, the, the way that cars are designed, for instance, nobody would kick up a fuss. It's just religion. But I, I think I understand yeah. what Mark's trying to say. I think he's sort of saying, hey, um, don't, don't be rude to theists because we kind of need them. Um, I, I sort of take that approach. I try not to be too... Uh, menacing, but I must admit it, it may not be the best idea. Sometimes people do need someone saying, hey, you've got to just justify your belief or you absolutely cannot um, go and implement this law, um, you know, because it is based upon um, sort of, you know, somebody, somebody's belief in a God. So, um, and there's some things I don't care about. If you want to, if you want to have a day of prayer during the year and you do that, I don't care. Go for it. You know, but there's a line in the sand that we're not going to budge on. And one of the things is women's bodily autonomy. One of those things is, um, you know, medical assistance for children. One of the, you know, there's, there's these things that they're 
we're not going to budge on. It, it's too important. So I, I get what Mark's saying. Um, he obviously doesn't like a hostile approach, but sometimes a hostile approach is needed. I'm really sorry, Mark. That's just, you know, that's just the facts. There's sometimes some people need somebody demanding proof in order to snap them out of it. I, I totally agree. And I feel like maybe Mark's criticism would be better served about 20 years in the past, because I feel like that's the, that's the way that most people interacted like in the political space 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we had reasonable Republicans and, and, you know, the religious right was very much in the fringe and they weren't popular. And uh, all of the efforts of the religious right were, were still kind of in the background, like 20 to 30 years ago. So like back then compromise was actually a reasonable position right now with the topics that are being discussed and like the legislation that's being proposed, Co like compromise on these things is not reasonable, like whatsoever. There's no compromise on bodily autonomy. There's no compromise on the rights for women. There's no compromise on the rights for LGBTQIA plus individuals. Like there's just no compromise on those things. And if a religious person wants to sit there and be like, oh, well, this person over here shouldn't be able to get married just because their genitals match. I'm not going to be nice to that person. Like if they're going to say something that bigoted, then they deserve a, a, a harsh response. That's going to correct them immediately. And um, I don't think that, that playing nice is going to get us anywhere. I think that playing nice, uh, it w would only exacerbate the situation. Uh, that's just how I feel about it. Well, it's how do you have right. a conversation about it? If someone believes that mm -hmm. something, if you, you, you have someone that believes that what they're doing is right for society or right for people or some, you can have a conversation about that at least, you know, what is right for society, what is what makes a healthy society, all of those kind of conversations. If someone thinks it's right for God, how do you even begin that conversation? You know, if, if, if that's what is right for God, you know, you can't you can't even start to have a conversation about it. At that point, you're arguing with yeah. their imaginary friend. Yeah, exactly. Well, heathens, that's going to be it for this call today. If you want more of this kind of content, you can hit up the links down in the description to go and subscribe to the line here on YouTube. We're always producing great live content where we take callers from people. We're also adding new shows all the time. So please go down there, subscribe to the line so that you can get more of this kind of content. I'm not sure if this was 20 seconds or anything like that, but yada, 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 Jimmy, go fuck yourself.